Well, here I am, walking along the beach, as you can see. I look today, been off this week for a few days holiday, and uh, been out in the woods, been doing various things, as you might have already seen. And then I noticed that this morning, and it's about nine o'clock in the morning, I suppose, I noticed that my beach, very close to my home, and one that I do the beach vlogs from, and one I've done lots of photos, etc. from, the tide was going to be out, one of the lowest tides I can remember, a very low tide, and I thought, I'm going to take this opportunity. We had some really thundery storms last night, <laughs> and there was me thinking, if I come out this morning, I could get caught again. But luckily, it's clearing up a bit, so I'm going to walk along and find the shipwreck again, maybe take some photos, and just enjoy myself. Barefooted, as you can see, a very unusual <laughs> angle, I suppose, for a vlog, but You've got to do it, haven't you? The water's not very warm. Uh, <laughs> this is the English Channel. It's not. Uh, it's not the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> There's a bit of a difference between uh, Hastings or St Leonard's Beach as there is the beaches I've been on in the past in places like Clearwater in Florida or something like that, where the sea temperature is a little bit warmer than what it is here today. So I'm just enjoying a nice little walk. I might show you some bits and pieces as we go along. But I'm just enjoying myself, and I hope you enjoy the sight of my feet going along. It's a foot vlog. You know, it makes a difference to see my ugly face. See the other end of the body. <laughs> the angle of the sun but uh, one of the beauties of uh, coming down to a beach like this when you know it's like this I've uh, as you've noticed maybe already taken my shoes and socks off and well sandals as they were and um, and you can just walk what you like you know whereas you normally sort of treading gingerly worrying about getting your feet wet even if I'm running along here worrying about getting your feet wet you don't want to get your shoes dirty or wet or whatever or full of sand and the sort of soft muddy sand that we get here <laughs> and go to different places. This is quite warm here. It's nice. And as per usual with this, there's just a couple of people walking their dogs. And that's just about it. Great. Maybe it's because it's early in the morning, but that's one of the reasons for doing it now. So I'm just enjoying my little walk. Solitary walk once again. Well, here I am further on the beach, and this is the shipwreck. If I've done a video about two years ago, I may well actually post this as a response to uh, that particular video, that one was called Shipwreck, and it was all about this particular ship. Because uh, this is the wreck of the Amsterdam. You can probably see the outline of the ship from here. This is the back of the ship, and in the distance there where the sand is, is actually the, uh, is it the bow? <laughs> I think it is, at the front. There's a train going across the top there. There you go, can you see it in the distance there? Um, and this is, as I said, when I came here before, I had to walk very gingerly around it, but I've never actually walked around this side of it, I don't think. The tide is, is out a long way. This was a, a Dutch East India vessel called the Amsterdam, as I said, uh, and it ran aground here. I believe it was in the 1700s, but as I said, if you want all the information, uh, watch that video that'll be down below there somewhere. For, but it's, it's quite <laughs> amazing. You can just walk along here on a, an ordinary public beach, and here's a shipwreck. Okay, it's, uh, it's not exactly... <laughs> A great deal to see but it's still sitting there they've done some excavation work on it but the dutch uh, themselves actually did some quite extensive diving and that on it in the 1980s i do believe and and what you can see although that is the outline of the ship not some of that is just barriers where they are protecting it the, the bow as i said is, is the original I and mean, some of this is wood around it which is covered in barnacles i'll uh, i'll get a bit closer in a sec some of the outline once again so this is some of the sort of protection that's here and the, the actual wreck itself, which obviously is protected, is uh, down below the sand here. And just think, all I've got to do is get out a little trowel or something and I could, I could walk over here and uh, get into it. Ooh, I'm sinking in the sand that's around it. Right. This is some of the outline. And there you are, there's the, the bow of the ship down there. And this is uh, the bow. Um, I presume this is part of the original. It does look as though the, the, the sort of ship does go out. If I come in here, see where the, it sort of goes around here. 
and then you see the faint outline and obviously we come to the ships you can actually walk across one of the other beauties of uh, casting off your shoes so isn't it amazing that you can just uh, walk up to something like this and actually where well, I am now actually walk on the top <laughs> of a real live 17th 18th century dust in Dutch East India vessel and they found quite a lot of silver coins in that and I think there's still quite a lot buried under here as well hence the fact that it is protected and luckily it is only usually visible or able to walk around it at, at pretty low tides as I said today is a is a very low tide it's going to sweep around the beach actually how well it comes out because of the way the sun is but it's turning out to be a lovely morning I nearly didn't come out actually because of the as I said there was all these horrendous thundery showers etc forecast today and lots of people like this beach and I'm very lucky to have this beach literally on my doorstep and as you can see I've got it to, to myself apart from the birds and the shipwrecks that's not bad company I don't think Well, I was talking earlier on about the sort of mud that you can get here. I can uh, give you some indication of what it's like in places. Nice and thick and uh, dark and uh, horrible. And the unsuspecting, if you don't know where it is, you can get caught in this. It's great. It's probably very good for you, this is actually. Like a nice skin treatment. People pay a lot of money to have this sort of thing done, I expect. Like we come to a come to a place like this, you end up acting like a, a child. <laughs> the child in you comes back out again. Well, why not? I'm enjoying myself. Well, I suspect we're pretty much at uh, at low tide now. A few people have come down to see the the, the shipwreck, the Amsterdam. Uh, they do actually do guided tours and that around there sometimes as well. Obviously, at the right time. I'm surprised there isn't one today. It's the ideal day. Nice time in the morning, and that's as it's turned out, a beautiful morning as well. And I'm very glad that I actually took the trouble to come out here. A number of life's casualties. It'll be dead. It's, uh, I bet it's dead, is it? Yeah, unfortunately it is, yes. I'm surprised the seagull hasn't had it already. I found jellyfish on this beach. Dead ones once again, unfortunately. Here we go, look. The light coloured sand here underneath the water that's just passing over it, that's a very good indication, usually, that um, this is where the mud's going to be. Let's hope that this uh, works out. Let's see what happens. I've got my foot in it. There we go. Mud. And that isn't very deep there, but there are other places. So if you're down on this beach or any other, that could be a very good indication of where the mud's going to be. And here we go. Here's my marker, as I said, the one that I usually come out to. See what I mean by that sort of bucket thing on the top? I imagine there must have been some sort of outfall pipe here at some time or other, I don't know. Or maybe it's just because of uh, all the rocks that are around here, if I come around here. Great for rock pooling and that around these areas. Let's come over here. So it doesn't usually go out quite as far as this. You don't usually get to uh, around about that part where that is. And that's usually the extent of it, but as you can see, it's going out a fair way further today into all the rock pools disturb any wildlife I don't know the birds love it here as you can imagine They're sitting out on the rocks and coming down here for their breakfast no doubt I'll come back I know the sun's going to get in your eyes but this is uh, the extent of where I've walked all the way Come all the way back. How good that view is, I don't know. We'll find out when we come to edit it, I suppose. The clouds, we should be in that direction. And that's where I've got to walk back. But as you can see, just about nobody around. Brilliant. Just what I like. You know, I was talking about jellyfish earlier on. I don't know what one that is, doesn't 
never know, I'm not going to get too close to it just in case. There you are, as you can see the tide's now coming in and the shipwreck disappear under the sea once again. I have mentioned before about, um, and I showed you out at pet level actually, a petrified forest, and I think I showed you very quickly in a, another vlog. This isn't the best place to see it, because actually I forgot all about it to be honest, because of the way that it's actually further towards the shoreline, should we say, than usually out far, far out like here. But there's a little bit of it, and there's other bits around here as well. But it's further back, I'll come around here, it's further back in that sort of direction and out there. There's actually quite an extensive uh, patch of the petrified forest over there. Maybe I should show you that to you properly. But one of my uh, pet level videos, same sort of thing. That the, they had this forest that was here years and years ago, when the, the, the sea was uh, a lot lower than what it was, and then these uh, wonderful forests grew up here. Hard to believe at the moment, I know. Uh, and then the, the sea level rose again, overtook, and they, they became sort of the salt and the mud, just preserves it all. And then you end up with this sort of petrified petrified wood which is all quite strange you can walk straight past it without realizing it's actually there all very spongy now but certainly wood like and look, looks like a lot of charcoal and then we've got some more bits uh, more bits over here as well that's what those sort of banks are there really smoothed out okay, quite an interesting beach but then lots of beaches are interesting because that's, you have to open your eyes and your ears as I'm always say you never know what you might find so make me right under your nose and you don't realise it's there. And here we are, I walk a few feet, and this is what I'm on about. This is uh, another part of it. You can see that there. Maybe where my feet are. That's, if I dig that out, it's sort of very dark, and that's actually wood. Can you believe? Digging out little bits, but I probably shouldn't be destroying it like this. But you can see the colour of it, but it is actually wood, that's what I meant. And the way it's sort of moulded in, and all these bits along here, are just bits of wood. A bit ancient, I don't know how many thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of year old these, these sort of trees are, but they're still here and being preserved. Come in here, you might be able to see this bit. You see that, that wood there? That's just a bit of wood, and you see the spongy quality of it, and here as well. I'll get a finger on it. Well, that's it for. What was it? I've come out for a walk, a little, in, well, not an impromptu walk, I say half planned um, because I knew the tide was out, and I thought I'd just shoot some a few bits of video and uh, just for my interests and maybe cobble them together. So if this sees the light of day, this was just one of those little impromptu walks. I've been meaning to do that. I come down to this beach and do a lot of vlogs on this beach, as you're aware, and I've already recorded another one today. Um, it's one of those places you just can't stop yourself. It's great to walk and it gets your mind free and everything. But I thought I'd just show you some little bits and pieces of the beach in case you hadn't seen them before. So I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu <laughs> walk along the beach, a scenic beach, beach vlog or something like that anyway. Thanks for your time. I shall speak to you again soon. Goodbye.